Hey folks, Viking here, and today I'm going to talk about the upcoming, and as Rocket Dean Hall said recently, very imminent DayZ standalone alpha. Now, I know you guys are really excited about this. If you listen to our podcasts or watch any of our previous DayZ series, you know that myself and uh, all the guys that I, I play games with, we're all really, really excited about this. But what can we realistically expect from that initial alpha of DayZ? Now recently at E3, Rocket and the rest of the DayZ team actually released some footage of a development build of the DayZ standalone alpha. And to be completely honest, as excited as I am for DayZ, I was a little disappointed just because it is a development build. With all of these months of hype and with how long that we've been playing the mod, it's very easy to forget that DayZ standalone has only been in development for uh, around six months at this point. And it's a massive, absolutely massive undertaking. And the alpha that we'll be releasing, hopefully here in the very near future, will be the true definition of an alpha. At the alpha stage, a game is not feature complete. That is, besides all of the bugs and missing graphical features, and just the overall lack of polish, there will be entire sections of the game that are entirely missing. And just as an example, there will be no vehicles in the first alpha release of standalone. Just, they won't be there at all. There also won't be things like the uh, disease system and a lot of these big grand ideas that the Rocket and the team do have for standalone. Don't expect all of these systems to be in place at launch. Unlike other games that might release an alpha or even a beta that's really just a demo of a completed game, this is a small team with a foundation release of what will eventually be a very awesome game. But right here at launch, what can we realistically expect? Honestly, it's a lot of things that aren't shiny and pretty to look at. We can expect the server client architecture to be in place, which should hopefully mean a lack of hacking, and also a much smoother process for joining servers, changing servers, and actually playing and getting into the game. Hopefully we will also see a lot of those uh, environment updates as far as the enterable buildings and new areas like the Swampland. On the other hand, this being an initial alpha, we can also expect that those areas will not be detailed. There might be some floating buildings, there might be some uh, missing areas where the environment artists are still adding things and setting up areas that they're going to be working on later. And that's just going to be par for the course. Expect a lot of things to be floating or missing, and all that sort of thing. It's going to be a true alpha. Now, all that being said, I am still very excited because I have a good feeling that even as incomplete as this alpha is going to be, it's still going to be a lot of fun. And I'm honestly excited to be part of the development process, even just as, as a tester. And that is something that Rocket has said. If you are not interested in participating in the development process of DayZ, and if anything that you saw in the most recent footage of DayZ at E3 or any of the most recent uh, interviews or anything like that, if any of that footage concerns you, if you didn't like what you saw, if you weren't happy with how the game looked, that's okay because it's a development build, it's a work in progress, but don't buy the alpha right when it comes out because that is what you can expect. I'm actually very grateful that Rocket released that footage because it kind of helps get the hype down a few levels. I know that I've been sitting here since December refreshing my Steam page wondering, oh come on, when is it going to come out? But it's nice to actually see it and to realize, okay, yeah, there's still a lot of work to be done. There's a lot that has been done already, and it is very exciting, but we still have a long ways to go. So that's what you guys can realistically expect from the DayZ standalone alpha. Uh, I do hope that it comes out here in the near future. I'll have some videos up as soon as it comes out, and once we get in there and try the alpha out for ourselves and see exactly what the future set is and how the game looks and how it plays, We'll decide at that point if it will go ahead and support our new DayZ series that we're going to be doing, which will be uh, pretty similar in style to our original Survivor Diaries back in the day. And we are kind of hoping for a return to that that kind of survival gameplay that was uh, so prevalent at the launch of the mod last year. With all that being said, I am still cautiously excited, but uh, I feel like it's a more realistic excitement at this point and I kinda know what I'm getting into with this first initial alpha release. Thanks for listening guys, and I'll see you on the next video.